All right, well, hey, this is Christian. Uh, continuing on the walkthrough of the wheel here, the centerpiece itself is a 20-inch round piece of plywood that a friend of mine gave me at the store that I work at. He does woodworking in his spare time, was actually doing a project that required a center circle be cut out of a table. And because he didn't have any use for the centerpiece, he offered it to me, so I gladly didn't mind. Uh, the plywood itself, if we come down here, is about three quarters to nearly an inch thick, or at least just under an inch. The nails are one and five eighths inch brads. Unfortunately, they're a little shorter once I drove them in than I was hoping for, but they do fine for just now. I think if I had my gumption, I would prefer to go with two inch, but it looks okay, I guess, for the most part, as long as I can keep the heights of the arrows about perfect. And we've already gone through the construction of the arrows themselves. Uh, you'll note what I ended up having to do was take a compass, and luckily with the 72-spoke wheel, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just mark off points at every 5 degrees to get your 72. Um, the spinning axis, it, axis itself is an old humidifier motor, which is the reason this thing sits up so high. Um, just found it at the scrap, and, well, you know, works pretty good. <laughs> sometimes you get what you pay for, sometimes you get more than what you paid for. And that's pretty much it. Nothing fancy otherwise. Um, talk about being able to do something on the cheap. I think I maybe spent about 10 bucks total on this. Um, the layout itself I did on my laser printer. And, you know, this is easily designed. This is actually the first time I've done one of these that uh, I can change layouts independently. It used to be the times before I'd just glue everything on, and that was it. You really couldn't change it other than changing one piece here or there. And, of course... If you look at the layout, you'll notice that the big money space is empty. Now, I did some searching on the web and noted that in a picture there was a mascot spinning the wheel during one of the college weeks, and they had not put a big money spot on the wheel yet. So it looked kind of funny to see him spin, and you saw this white piece here. So now, I would think personally that they might still have the 1,000 on there, but I guess that's just me. Anyway, keep the questions coming, and I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Uh, that's it for now. Good luck building your own wheel.